Hi everyone, so I finally bought a motorbike that's a bit more suited to the kind of stuff I ride in that. It's a 2015 YZ125. This is what the bike looks like at the moment. I'm going to do a couple things to it and then make a couple changes to it as I ride it more and that. But yeah, this is what it looks like now that I first got it. I'll start it up real quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take off these stickers. I'm going to heat them up and hopefully they'll come off nicely. Take them off all right. Got to use some acetone to get the sticky leftover stuff off. I like my stuff real basic, so I can already looks cleaner just by doing that. So I'm going to take these off for now. I've never seen it without these on. Gonna take this tape off also. Gotta take these stickers off I reckon. They're pretty good though because they're really thick and probably actually protect that. That's the company that did the lowering stuff for this. The one on the shock I'm gonna leave because that one actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna take these off so I can try to clean them up a bit because they're pretty dirty and also so I can get the glue behind there. I'm going to try clean these up. The reason why I'm not just going to go buy some new ones is because I reckon like the logo like on the actual plastic looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to try to scrape it all off. So I've got one side done. It looks a lot better than it did before. And this one was a lot more dirty than this one, but that's the difference between them. Got this one all cleaned up. Gonna put it back on now. I'm gonna take these hand guards off. I'm gonna chuck this wheel on the back. The bike set up for dirt track or flat track whatever it's called it's like geared for flat track and it's also like jetted for flat track i'm going to probably chuck a smaller front sprocket on it and then i might change the main jet and i think it's going to be a bit too rich for what i'm going to do like just ride around and that on it so yeah it has a 490 main jet in there at the moment so the bike came with a heap of spare parts in that and a couple of jets. I'm going to put the 470 jet in and see how that goes. So got a 13.2 sprocket. So I'm going to make the chain a bit shorter because it's fully at the back of the adjustment and still loose. Alright, so now I'm going to try to raise up my suspension back to the stock height. So one of the things I have to change back is the position of where this is. So when they lower it, they machine out another groove, which is here. And the spring sits up against this, and that's what makes it lower. So I'm going to be moving it back to this top groove. We've got to knock this ring off, and under that there's a clip that sits in there. 
and then I've got to slide that back over the top. Yes, there it goes. Got to move it up to the top one. Got it on. There's also another thing I have to change to bring it back to the stock height and I had to borrow a special tool from the motorbike shop which goes on here and then you use a ratchet. You're also supposed to have a proper tool really to undo that but I just use a big shifter. So yeah, this is what I also have to get rid of, this spacer here. And that's it, now I can just clean everything up and put it all back together. So I've got to take the shock out also, it's been lowered. Yeah, yeah. going to just put all on this screwdriver because I don't want you know, mess up the order of stuff. Gonna take that out, get rid of this space, I think. Put it back on. So I'm gonna paint the spring. dirty in some spots so I'm just gonna try to give everything a clean while it's all apart like this. I'm gonna try to polish up the exhaust, it's a bit rough. Everything's all cleaned up. I've got the shock filled up with nitrogen, so now I'm gonna put it back together. Just went ahead and put it all back together. Got some black wheels for it. Looks pretty crazy. The last thing I'm gonna be doing to the bike is replacing the fuel tank graphic. As you can see, it's gone all yellow and it's sort of bubbled up. So I ordered some new ones. Gonna put them on. These ones are designed not to like bubble up like the other ones, so hopefully they work out. So these are the graphics I've got. They're replicas of the 2015 ones, but as you can tell, they're not exactly the same. They're slightly different, like in the sizing and colors a little bit, but they should be good. I'm only going to be using the tank ones though and I'll have another set of shrouds I can put these ones on because there's nothing wrong with these. I don't really care about this part, I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that there. That's all I'm going to do to the bike for now. I'm pretty stoked to have a proper dirt bike finally. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the upgrades that it's already got on it. It's got an oversized front brake rotor. It's got a VHM head. It's got like a vented airbox too. And it's got like some Zeta bling bits on it. And then some RHK and this one. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty good bike I reckon. It's got an FMF exhaust but I reckon I messed it up because I grinded it back too much and where it's been grinded back a bit it's changed colours from the heat but it is what it is, you live and learn, you know and then it's got the FMF muffler too and then it has this seat cover on it It's going to take me a while to get used to this new bike because it's quite the opposite to my old one It's way taller and longer and all the power's at the top end where the XT is more like at the bottom and the middle and the suspension's totally different 
just gonna have to practice and get used to it. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some riding now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 